Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had a few questions regarding how to remove gold pins from circuit boards and more importantly, uh, CPU chips. And what I have behind me is a couple different circuit boards as well as some CPU chips that you're gonna find while scrapping. The nice thing about gold is you are gonna find gold on all sorts of different circuit boards while scrapping. It's in a whole bunch of different electronics and appliances. And for me, unfortunately, if I was to take these circuit boards in as is, the place I go to does not pay very well per poundage. I will get maximum 20 cents a pound for these circuit boards um, with the weight. But in my opinion, given the price of gold, it is a lot better to take that off, separate it, and either hold on to it, uh, refine it yourself, or find another place online where you can sell this to. So what I have today is I just purchased a heat gun a couple days ago. This was actually $39 Canadian. That included taxes and shipping because this was only online. And in my opinion, a very good investment because I have a whole bunch of different CPU chips as well as boards that have gold on them. I know some people are gonna say, unfortunately with a heat gun, you are using electricity, which is true. But for me, the amount of gold I have here, it is gonna be a long-term uh, wise investment. And again, something that I have in my uh, scrapping arsenal to use when I need to. So gonna do a couple different things here. As I said, the motherboards, there are different styles that have gold pins. You can see some there. You see some there. I have some that have obviously the gold fingers and these gold fingers I'm not gonna use a heat gun for, but there is some gold pins in the middle of the circuit board. As well, sometimes you also have little chips that have gold around them. You can see there. So in my opinion, a lot better to take these off. I have already started with a nice vial of pins here. So you can see that I do collect a lot of them. And I am going to shift lastly to CPU chips. CPU chips, I just actually, the last video I uploaded had on the motherboard. I love that motherboard, but it had two CPU chips on it underneath two copper heat sinks and that copper was awesome as well. But there are four styles of CPU chips you're gonna find on computer tower motherboards. The ones, the first ones, these ones are your gold pins that protrude outwards. And as you can see, these gold plated pins, there's a lot of them. So these have, as you can see, a just a plastic backing. They come in greens as well. There's the pins. Some of them you will see have the protruded gold pins that have the metal backing on them. And lastly, you are gonna also find some that have the metal backing, but the gold pins are not protruding outwards. They are inside of those. And a heat gun is not gonna work for this. I am gonna do it for one of these. I am gonna try one with the metal backing, but uh, I've actually never done that before. These ones seem to work really well. But I am gonna start with a circuit board here just to show you how to remove the pins. And all I'm actually gonna do is if I look here is my pins, if I turn it over, there you can see the soldering. All I'm gonna do is take that heat gun and I'm gonna melt or heat up that soldering so it releases those pins. And that way after that's done, I could just hit it on the table and it should fall out. Um, gonna do that right now for you. Um, the, heat, uh, the heat gun, as I said, does produce heat, so I do wear a glove. I do want to make sure I have my uh, door open, ventilated, because it does release a small smell to it, so definitely want to make sure that you have proper ventilation. I also have uh, safety glasses on, but I'm going to start with this one. Hopefully easy to see, but I'm just going to turn this, and as I said, I'm just going to locate the solder pins there and hit those right now. So it's gonna take a couple minutes to warm up, heat up, but definitely in my opinion worth it.
I can see some of the soldering already heating up, so it should be good now if I hit it on the table. There you go. So, inside I do have gloves on so it doesn't hurt. There are my gold pins, and all I'm gonna do once this is warm, just gonna take a pair of side cutters and slide these out. So, just gonna look, there we go. It's not hot, which is awesome. Side cutters, here we go. Just gonna grab one pin. Well, once it's cooled down, but there you go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is take those and be able to put them into a container. So a great way to start taking off circuit boards from these, uh, and again, there's another one gonna do the same thing. There's my soldering, I would do that. Um, this one, if I look at this pin here, unfortunately this chip, if I turn it over, I don't see the soldering. I'm actually gonna hit this side with the soldering. You can see there's four pieces there. So I definitely gonna hit that as well. And again, in my opinion, a little bit of energy used with this. Great investment for the gold. Um, I am gonna do a CPU for that uh, viewer. So these CPUs, I've already have one on a pair of pliers and I'm gonna give credit to Moose Scrapper who showed me this technique. Um, so shout out to him and any other fellow scrappers. Like I said, it's a growing community, which is awesome, especially with the price of different scrap material, as well as the need to preserve and, you know, our environment, control the things going in the landfill. So great job, all fellow scrappers. But all I'm actually gonna do is take a pair of pliers. I'm gonna use this CPU chip. And for this one, all I'm actually gonna do on this side, I'm gonna heat up the soldering on this one. And I'm gonna use a pot just so I can actually clang it and the pins will drop in here. So. Again, same method, got my gloves on, just gonna heat this up, take a couple seconds. So, that's all it took. You can see that corner already has a bunch of pins off. Just continue. Look at that, so easy. Okay, and I'm just gonna stop that, but look at that. All removed almost, and inside of here, you can see, look at that pile already. And I have a number of them, I've got six of them here. Now, for the sake of this video, I do wanna try the metal backing ones as well. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I do wanna try uh, just to help see if it works. I, again, same method, I'm just gonna pin on here. Um, but again, this is educational purposes to see because sometimes you'll get these ones gonna clamp it in same method I'm just gonna apply heat to this We'll see if it works Yes, it does. Look at that. Boom.
Okay, and I'm just gonna stop it there, but it definitely proves that it works. So, in my opinion, this gun here, this air gun, great investment. I do know there are some people that sell these online, so it is definitely an option that you could take as well. Um, you do want to make sure you check, especially the back, some of these, these ones, especially the ones that have no protruded pins, there are some that actually go for $100 a piece. So, definitely, before you do that, you do want to weigh out your odds, want to see what the best method for you is, and the best thing to do, but using a heat gun, as I said, $38 with tax shipped, uh, I'm definitely going to use this for my gold pins. I am definitely going to have the option of either selling these gold pins as is, or holding on to them and allowing gold to continue to go up in price. So hopefully that answered that question. Uh, again, please keep those comments and questions coming. I, I look forward to them. I try my best to answer them. And I love seeing these new fellow scrappers getting into this and making a difference. So please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.